Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the fourth week of Advent, Christmas Eve. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are truly in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bethlehem in Judah's land, how glorious your future. The king will rule my people comes from you. Our first psalm is Psalm 143, entitled, A Prayer in Distress. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwell in darkness. Your death has opened a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Let your good spirit guide us together into the land of justice. Bethlehem in Judah's land, how glorious your future. The king who will rule my people comes from you. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is now at hand. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah entitled, Joy of Heaven. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all of you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies, bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is now at hand. The day has come at last when Mary will bring forth her firstborn son. Our second psalm is Psalm 147, entitled, The Loving Kindness of God who can do all he wills. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. 
He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God our Father, great builder of the heaven, heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. Gather together those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. The day has come at last when Mary will bring forth her firstborn son. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Our responsory this morning, tomorrow will be the day of your salvation. The sinfulness of earth will be destroyed. Tomorrow will be the day of your salvation. The sinfulness of earth will be destroyed. The Savior of the world will be our King. The sinfulness of the earth will be destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow will be the day of your salvation. The sinfulness of the earth will be destroyed. The time has come for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son, our Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The time has come for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, in your love, hear our prayer. God of power and love, you lavish your people with grace upon grace in Jesus, your son. In faith we pray, God, in your love, hear our prayer. Inspire the hearts and minds of all who attend worship services tonight and tomorrow. In faith we pray, God, in your love, hear our prayer. Grant safety to travelers, joys to those, joy to those serving the less fortunate, and hospitality to those who are fleeing from danger. In faith we pray, God, in your love, hear our prayer. Heed the prayers of those who are hospitalized and those who care for them. In faith we pray, God, in your love, hear our prayer. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer to Jesus for healing and guidance during our COVID-19 pandemic. Jesus, Son of God, you were sent by the Father to bear our weakness. Be with us in this time of crisis. Merciful Savior, heal and comfort the sick, so that with health restored they may give you praise. Divine Physician, accompany our caregivers, so that serving with patience they may heal wisely. Eternal Wisdom, guide our leaders so that seeking remedies they may follow your light. Christ, the Anointed, protect us in body and spirit, so that freed from harm we may be delivered from all affliction, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, raise us to the joy of your kindness, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May God make us steadfast in love and blanket the world in peace through Jesus, our Savior and friend. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed Christmas. I hope that all of you, you and your families, are healthy and happy and have this time to recognize the presence of our Lord coming to man. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.